So hello students and I am back. I am Sarim Khan. Okay, studying in fifth standard. Today we are going to solve the part second of question number first from exercise 1.1 from sets class 11th NCRT mathematics. As we know from exercise okay 1.2 in question number first there are total four questions and in this video we'll solve the rest of the two questions we are, which we had left while solving the first two questions in the previous video. So here we have question number first. As we know it is asking to us that which of the following are examples of null set we have already studied what are null set empty sets are also called null sets means such sets in which there exists no element okay here we can see as some examples we have so here we have to tell which of them are null sets okay and after this um, after solving this they are the last question will reach to question number second so this we have third and fourth so the third is asking to us that x is to be x is a natural number x is less than 5 and x is greater than 7 so now our solution starts okay so from here we'll solve so third first we'll solve for third so x is to be x is the natural number means whichever elements in this set are present all are natural numbers we have to imagine all as natural numbers and such natural numbers which are less than 5 and greater than 7 okay so first let us imagine which natural numbers are lesser than 5 so which are those are 1 2 3 and 4 okay and we have to take lesser than 5 so forward it cannot go because next digit is 5 so here is any of 1 2 3 4 is any of of the this set okay greater than seven we see here one is not two is also not three also not and four is two not greater than seven notice it here is greater than seven then how can there exist okay a set of such natural numbers in which all elements are lesser than five and they are also greater than seven okay it means by this what we get that really actually there exists no such element okay in which they are natural number and x is lesser than five and greater than seven it means that in this set no element exists and if it is such it means it is a null set okay so by this we get that third is actually example of null set okay so by this we get third is a null set now let us move to fourth so fourth we have now here we have fourth y is to be y is a point common to any two parallel lines we have to imagine about any two parallel lines later we have to find that if which information has been given by this set okay about y is to be y means about any element of this set okay we have to check that whether y is a point common for any two parallel lines let us begin first let us draw any two lines let parallel a b cd we have named them a b and c d so here we have here is there any point common to a b and c d we can see as they are parallel so no point is common if we extend a b and c d little so here it will extend little its length will increase but even now we don't have to change their position okay but they will also now also they will remain parallel so here such it will happen even now is there any point common to a b and c d no and as much if we extend any two parallel lines there will be no any point common then how there can exist such an element in such a set where the set is saying in uh, in our set builder form that its elements are the points common for any two parallel lines how can it exist so by this what we get that really actually there exists no element okay no element for such a set where its elements are those points which are common for any two parallel lines it means it there okay for this set there are no elements so by this what we get this is also a null set so we can write that fourth is also a null set so answer is that third and fourth are also null set so this was my today's topic thank you